wiki.easyvid.com. Search EasyVid Wiki before you decide. EasyVid presents the 10 best 10 gigabit network cards. Let's get started with the list. Starting off our list at number 10, geared toward low profile cases as well as the company's specialized drive arrays. The QNAP QXG takes up very little space and comes with a pre-installed half-height bracket. It's a touch cheaper than a lot of others and it's backward compatible with N-Base T-Speeds. It's equipped with a single Ethernet jack, however it offers poor jumbo frame support and it may not work with Apple computers. At number 9, if you need two concurrent connections, the 10G Tech X520 DA2 is a reliable and effective way to get them, thanks to dual SFP Plus availability. If you're using Windows 10, it's mostly a plug-and-play affair, and Linux installation shouldn't be too tricky either. It's a bit cheaper than most two-port cards. However, it may have difficulty utilizing VMware, and it doesn't accept RJ45 connectors. Coming in at number 8 in our list. If all you're aiming for is high transfer rates between two local PCs, you likely can't do better than the Melanox Connect X, a two-unit pair that comes at a nearly unbeatable price. Most users find it easy to install, though its warranty only lasts for 90 days. It uses the PCIe 2 bus, however its response times are subpar, and it only has an SFP Plus port. Our newest choices can only be seen at wiki.easybit.com. Go there now and search for 10 gigabit network cards, or simply click beneath this video. At number 7, an ideal solution for audiovisual professionals, the Akitio Doc Pro offers a host of useful features, such as a CFast 2.0 card reader and N-Base T support, plus eSATA and a DisplayPort. Dual Thunderbolt 3 ports allow for plug-and-play operation even when you're on the go. It's equipped with an on-off fan toggle switch and intelligent power delivery charging, but it is among the more expensive options. Moving up our list to number 6. Quite different from most, the QNAP QM2 2P10 contains dual NVMe SSD ports in addition to its LAN capabilities. While you could use it to upgrade an older PC's storage and Ethernet in one fell swoop, it's designed to act as an all-in-one server cache layer. It comes with a large copper heatsink and a relatively low-noise cooling fan. However, it is slightly bottlenecked at top speeds. Halfway up our list at number 5. The chipset on which many others are based, the Intel X550 performs exceptionally well and features two RJ45 jacks. It functions as a fully converged adapter, able to connect to both a server controller as well as a storage array. This is a highly reliable OEM unit with half and full height brackets, but it is a considerably costly option. At number 4, if you could use a portable external device, the Akitio T3 is worth a look. It uses the popular Aquantia hardware, plus an impressive 40 gigabit per second throughput connection to take full advantage of the interface's bandwidth. This one requires no external power brick and is comparable in cost to adding cards. However, it does require a Thunderbolt 3 port. Nearing the top of our list at number 3, with 5-speed negotiation ranging from 100 megabits to 10 gigabits per second, the Alpha A PCIe can help make the most of your current local area network. It has a relatively small form factor and should fit easily in most desktops, though it's not ideal for use in servers. It includes Linux-ready drivers and a full copper Ethernet jack. It's a reasonably priced solution. Our newest choices can only be seen at wiki.easybit.com. Go there now and search for 10 gigabit network cards, or simply click beneath this video. At number 2, if you intend to future-proof your current PC, consider the Aquantia Action, which uses a similar chipset to those integrated within the newest high-performance motherboards. Crafted with gamers in mind, it delivers exceptionally low ping and response times. It features PCI Express version 3 and a good price to performance ratio. It works with most operating systems. And taking the top spot on our list. From a company quite experienced in commercial connectivity, the Synology E10G18 is a feature-packed and highly reliable full copper option that's available with one or two ports. The latter of these supports link aggregation as well as jumbo frame packet sizes. It boasts an excellent response time and is available in a mini or full-size PCIe format. It works with flexible N-Base-T. 
our newest choices can only be seen at wiki.easybid.com. Go there now and search for 10 gigabit network cards, or simply click beneath this video.